Hello, welcome. I'm Vanessa from Hello to Spain and I am in Oliva. I'm at a, a quite a spacious townhouse and uh, I'm on the roof terrace. Belongs to um, some Spanish people. So this is the terrace at the moment. And to be honest with you, I would probably be inclined to take this down and open up and have a very big roof terrace. So this is basically where they used to keep, um, I think he was talking about pigeons. He used to keep the pigeons in here. But useful, you know, I'd take it down, have a really nice roof terrace here. Quite cloudy today, I'm afraid, but very warm. So, you know, the roof's existing terrace, you've still got room for, you know, put a table and chairs there. Got a good clean. Make a world of difference. Okay, so we we'll start at the uh, the top of the house. It's a very good location, lower part of Oliva, walking distance to um, Massima supermarket and uh, little tapas bars and restaurants just around the corner. Is that the landing there? Got those lovely tiles. This is the master bedroom. A very, very good sized bedroom. Window. Yep, so that's bedroom one. Now bedroom two, we've got another bedroom off. However, as you'll see now, that there is the bedroom, but there's no internal window, so it would make a good dressing room. Or put a window in there and a separate doorway. And then you've got a separate bedroom here. So could quite easily be three bedrooms. So good size bedrooms. And then you've got the built-in wardrobe there. Okay, so you've got two bedrooms and potentially three or a dressing room. I don't know how feasible it is to maybe even put a bathroom in upstairs. Okay, so main living accommodation now. Lovely, solid, solid banister here. So we've got a dining hall here, or a little sitting room. And then you've got the main reception hall, just there. <coughs> you've got another bedroom in here. So you've got three definite bedrooms. It might be worth putting another bathroom in upstairs. It's a lovely house. Got an upstairs store covered there. And then you've got these beautiful Valencian doors. Absolutely fabulous doors. And you can either close them and have the window open. Have them open fully. And then this is, uh, I call this actually the sitting room to be honest with you. If this is the sitting room. So a big house, and then just off the sitting room we've got a utility in here. I love the height of the ceilings. Fabulous height of the ceilings. Then we've got uh, a covered courtyard here. And we've got the, uh, that's the shower room, so that's the existing shower room at the moment. Uh, double opening doors here into the kitchen. So quite a basic kitchen. You've actually got, um, that's actually an open fire there. They've just put doors on. Oh, there we go. And it's a working fire. So basic kitchen, but wouldn't take much to uh, upgrade it and put a new kitchen in. We've got the pantry there and the stairs storage. And then up this side of the house, this would make quite a nice office or guest suite. Or, but you've got more space here. And then that's just a, a mezzanine flooring up there. And you've got another, another room in here. So very typical of a Spanish house. But you could make something quite nice up here, I think. 
maybe a studio if you like painting, if you're an artist and you don't want the main fumes in the house. So anyway, there we go. That's uh, the tour of the house. So as I say, you're in walking distance of plenty of things. The beaches are about two kilometers from here. Very spacious house. And uh, you know, reasonable price as well. Plenty of original features. Beautiful tied flooring. A lovely built-in cupboard and display unit there. Fabulous house. Okay, thank you. I'm in Oliva. All inquiries, give me a call. Send me an email. I'm Vanessa at Hello to Spain. Many thanks.